Hey, what's good? It's Cadillac Tracks. Today's quick tip is quick tip 134. And today's quick tip is about machine, machine's audio driver or audio interface. Machine has its own audio interface driver. And um, I've actually been using a different one because I have a different audio interface. But if you have machine, it has its own audio card or audio driver. And uh, hopefully you're using that in opposed to using something like Fruity Loops ASIO right here or ASIO for all. Those two drivers, the Fruity Loops ASIO and ASIO for all are free drivers. They come for free. They're default, they're custom, and they're cheap, and they're not good if you compare them in quality to the other audio drivers. Their performance is very poor, but most people stick to them because after all, it comes with this, the program, and if you don't have an audio interface, you never bought one, then you need that. So the machine has its own audio interface, and if you just go to your computer, once you've installed machine, it has its own audio card or audio driver, and it's a good driver. I actually just tried it out now. I've had machine a long time, and I've never really tried it out because I have my own audio interface, and I didn't know if the performance would be any good, but it actually is very good. It's actually just as good as my custom audio driver. And you can see this is the control panel, and um, in the control panel, you can go down as low as 32 samples, that's excellent for when you're making a beat. Um, a lot of people really don't understand about the buffer and latency, and I don't understand why you don't understand, but when you're making a beat, you know, you need to have the buffer down real low or real low so that you can push a, a button on your MIDI controller like your keyboard or your machine. You don't want there to be any delay. And uh, when you first start out making beats, you might not even notice a delay because you never heard a difference, you know? so. As you get down lower and lower, the delay is less and less, and that's what you want. In a real piano, there is very, there is no delay. You push a button and you hear the sound. But on your computer, you might push a button and the sound can come out um, a few milliseconds later. And you might not notice because it's only a few milliseconds. But it will affect your performance, and um, that's one thing that you need to look out for. And as you make a beat and it gets bigger and bigger and you have a lot more going on, you need to turn the buffer up because the computer can start to crackle or have problems with the audio because it's doing too much and the and the buffer size is too low so you keep it low when you want to input MIDI into your project but after all the MIDI's been put into the project and you're working on different stages like you're mixing and stuff like that you want to go ahead and turn it up there and it won't affect your performance or anything because you're not inputting MIDI so there won't the delay won't affect you but I just wanted to, to shed some light on this audio interface. It's a good audio interface. It's real good. Matter of fact, um, it's just as reliable as the one that I have. It even gives you, um, right here, you can see that it gives you an error message if it drops out or anything. And you can set those settings real low, and you can bring them up also. So just wanted to shed light. The machine has its own audio interface, and it's a good audio interface. It's just as good as any other one you might buy in the store for $100 plus dollars. So this is actually really good. And um, one thing I noticed about it, it also gets louder than my custom audio interface, which is a Steinberg UR22. I noticed that the volume gets louder coming out of the machine. And, and um, it's not necessarily a good thing, but it is something to add that the volume is actually louder. And so just wanted to share this with everybody. This is just as reliable as my other sound card. So now that I know that I can actually use either or and um, it has settings to go all the way down to 32 samples, which is excellent. If your computer is fast, you know, a lot of people think having a fast computer is what it's all about. It's, it has nothing to do with your production. It needs to be a, a fast audio driver. So, you know, the big test is if your computer is so fast, you should be able to put it at 32 samples, make a whole project and not have any skipping or popping. But if you do have popping or anything, like I said, you just bring up your buffer size. And uh, you want to keep it low when you're creating, and you want to bring it up in the very end of your beat so that we don't have any problems like that. But this is Cadillac Tracks, but I'm just going to go ahead and end the video. This is just a quick tip. Just wanted to remind everybody that Machine has its own audio interface, and you can utilize that if you don't have one already. Last thing you want to be doing is using Fruity Loops ASIO and ASIO for all. But um, just want to make sure that you have something that's reliable. One.